All right, we are live. Oh, it's been uh, one month since we did this. We're thinking about increasing this, but thank you so much for everyone for tuning in. How many people we have? Twenty-seven. About twenty-seven. That's yeah. incredible. Uh, my name is Anthony. I'm here with uh, my friend James, Ayo. who's uh, part of the distribution and support team, and uh, he's also like my moral support, as you'll see later in the stream. When I You're very kind, get, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, when I I'm off get, camera. If you hear a British voice, hi, I'm James. It's yeah, me. we're gonna we'll open up the GoFundMe for the for James's camera. No, <laughs> we're gonna get him a camera, um, and then you know open this room up a bit but you're the uh, talent you're the one that needs the camera <laughs> yeah i know but uh, it's just nice to see the person speaking um but yeah james is here with me uh today what i wanted to do was really dig into uh using samples only for music production and uh it's uh it's actually interesting because uh i was on my way here and I, i'm not i wasn't too sure what to do today and it's kind of racking my brain about it and uh I got a message. I work with a publisher who kind of sometimes will post opportunities to create music, um, you know, for sync licensing placements. And uh, they usually go by pretty quickly. So this one's due at like 4.30 Eastern. Um, I can't say who it's for because that's confidential, but it's inspired by uh, the Blade Runner soundtrack, specifically the track Flight to LAPD. So that one, th they want to use like a 30 second version of that for something that I'm not sure of yet, but uh, it's a cool opportunity. And I thought like, if I could create that with just samples, that would be so cool to, cause usually for that kind of style, I would grab some synths and some, you know, pulsating ARPs and, and stuff like that. But like, yeah, I want to try to, you know, limit myself. I think that's when you get the best creativity. But before we start, I wanted to ask, uh, just drop it in the chat where you're viewing from. We love to see where you're viewing from, you know, a lot of people tune in from all over the world, and I think this is a good time to stream at because it's a, I think it's like a general time when most people are awake. I don't know where the sun is setting right now, like maybe just over the Pacific Ocean. Is that where no one is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just sh drop it in the chat where you're from. James is typing furiously over there, but uh, yeah, we're uh, I'm ready to go. Um, pretty excited. I had started kind of like a preliminary session with one sound in it. Um, so yeah, let's let's dig right in. And uh, yeah, if you have anything to say, James will pass it along to me. I can't really see the screen that well. Any qu any questions about what Anthony's doing? Like, let us know. Anything else? Any general questions? We are here. That's right. Yeah, I'm here. And yeah, let's uh, let's go to the to the DAW screen so I can get right into it. And yeah, feel free to ask questions. It's and like, if you have any suggestions on where I'm going with this, because I don't know what I'm going to make. And like, I'm live right now. And this is, I think the last couple of streams I had something planned, but this is kind of off the cuff. And I think it'll be a good thing and a bad thing because lately, creatively, I've been kind of in a rut. And that's normal for, I think, for most people. And like, creativity is really a muscle that you have to build. Um, it's just like running or like strength training. Um, you have to build back up to it. And sometimes, like, I find I have to force myself to build a routine and just sit down and do something, even if it sucks. At least the routine is there. And then the next time I sit down, something better comes out of it. I'm talking to James, too, just so that, like he's another human in the room. Anything in there that I can respond to there? Uh, just a lot of really fun places where people are. V Vienna, Austria. Yeah, v shout them out, yeah. Guten Tag. That's my high school German. That's what I remember. <laughs> uh, Philadelphia, Vancouver, Florida, Nashville, Texas, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, sweet. I've been yeah. to some of those places. Oh, you've been to? Yeah. Like, spe specifically? Grand Rapids. Grand right? Rapids? Yeah. Okay. I think I played there once. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I love the Midwest. Yeah. 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 I'm a big uh, Midwest emo. M Michigan's music. beautiful. If you go like up north there, mm -hmm. it's really nice. Um, okay. So, yeah, let's dive right in. So, I'll show you what I have so far. Um, if you're not familiar with Blade Runner, uh, the the newer soundtrack was by Hans Zimmer. I'm a huge Hans Zimmer fan. Like, that's kind of my vibe. That's my style. I like to compose epic music and like orchestral music and kind of atmospheric stuff. I've been trying to get into more hip hop stuff, and like, I find I can do it, but my style is kind of it needs some spice still. So I'm working on that. Uh, let let us know what kind of music you compose in the in the comments there. 
while we're doing this. And yeah, if you have any questions, James will refer it to me. And if you have any ideas for where I'm going, I want this to be kind of a collaborative effort. Even James, if you think I'm like on the wrong track, you know, I'm running out of time. Let's just go because like this is due in an hour or so. Mm -hmm. I, if, I, it's, it's supposed to be 30 seconds. It's not very long, so it's approachable for this. So um, I did a little analysis of the track before I uh, – because I can't play it or else we'll get flagged for copyright. So these are the things that make up the track. A pulsing bass synth, percussive kind of pulsation sounds, electric percussive stuff. High synth sounds like swells, huge drum rhythms that build. There was one rhythmic motif there, so I can like maybe build on one rhythmic motif. There's really nice synth effects and swells, and it's really dark and tense. And so that's what I'm going to be going for as inspiration. I even like analyzed the track itself. So like the intro is big, it's sparse, it's atmospheric. Uh, there's the pulsating bass starts to come in. There's an ambient synth that slowly builds. And then the buildup is in the middle of the track. It kind of builds up. There's a main rhythm motif comes in. The drums really start to cut through. And then we start to fade out. So the track's only about two minutes. We're working with 30 seconds. So I'm trying to, get, you know, it's going to come in. I'm going to get to the point really fast. So that all being said, I'm going to stop talking and actually start doing stuff. I'm sure people are like, I can't hear anything. I should just like put a hand signal because I'm off camera. I should just put a hand signal up. This like yeah, we need like focus. a light that just says stop talking yeah. like, when enough people <laughs> click something or something. Like uh, a poll. Oh, I cool. should set a poll or something. Like, should Anthony stop talking? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, cool. So this is the first thing I had was this like I took a sample of an analog synth. Um, I forget what it sounds like, but I can find it later in the Lander Samples plugin. But I put it in Simpler, and then I kind of like set the locators to loop. So it fades in, then it loops, So and then I put it through some reverb. So it has that kind of ambient synth sound. I thought that was pretty sweet. Like, So it kind of swells in with the start of the sample, and then it loops. If I take the reverb off, you can really hear the looping. It's kind of, And then I put distortion on there for more grit. It's kind of like boring, right? <laughs> but then I chuck the distortion and the reverb. That's so sick. And then I just cut some of the lows because it gets kind of rumbly. If you're wearing headphones, you'll be able to hear that. It's like, a, maybe I'll keep that in. I don't know. And then I found this sample. And then I stretched it out. That's what I have so far. But what I think what I'll do is instead of getting lost in the weeds there, I wanted to like start with the rhythmic stuff and the hits and get like a groove going. I find when I start with the rhythm first, I tend to do better. Um, I don't know why that is. How do you start your music? Let me know uh, in the chat. Maybe we can take some of that inspiration. But uh, I have the Lander Samples plugin up here and I found this pack earlier. Um, that had really, really high quality kind of drum sounds. So let's just take a listen to some of them. And then, you know, if you hear something that sounds good, let me know. Uh, I think in the future, what we'll do is like, I think you can create polls in the chat. Mm -hmm. Maybe, can you create a poll that's just like, should I talk more or less? <laughs> and then put more and then less. <laughs> and then uh, I'll take your feedback uh, into consideration. But yeah, it's good to get in some engagement, you know, so. Okay, let's see if. Okay, that's strings. I don't need that. So I'm going to filter by drums here. Um, let's see. That's kind of sweet. It's kind of busy. I'll favorite it. Maybe I can come back to it. Okay. They're all really good samples, though. You know what? Um, dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's sick. I like all of these. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this. What I was looking for was like a good spot where it kind of does like a little phrase. And then I could, there's room to cut. Because I don't want to go in with the whole sample to start off. I want it to be sparse. And then it's going to build up to a whole phrase, right? Um, a lot of these are kind of busy. Maybe they're good for the, the middle of the song. So I'm going to chuck those in. 
Um, let's see what I have. I just want that first part. Dun, 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 dun. And then I'll maybe I'll put some reverb on it. So it kind of just like fades out a bit. And you know what's funny? I'm not even like, for these live streams, we have like the nice background here. And it looks beautiful. And that's like the best setup. And then I'm, I'm working at this little stand <laughs> with like a touchpad laptop. It's all about how it looks, guys and gals. Cool. Uh, nice. I'm going to do that. I'm going to chuck an auto filter on here and uh, kind of filter out the highs for now. And then we're going to swell in after. I, you'll see me doing this so much. I do it all the time. It's just the way I do. Nice. So a bit too much. Let's bring it back. It needs some reverb because I need a bigger tail on there, but I don't want to drown out stuff. Um, let's try the rev plate. So the goal here was to just use samples, no sound generating instruments, um, but I'm going to use effects. So that's what the limitations I'm placing on myself. Um, yeah. And the, the, the good thing about samples is you can really make them whatever you want them to be. And there are lots of sound design tricks and stuff that I'm still learning. Um, but the bad thing about them is you can really get lost in the weeds in terms of searching for sounds and that can really take you out of the flow so it's finding a balance between those two things okay that's way too much uh, i don't know if this is the right reverb for this context i think that's more for like maybe i'll put that on the synth um i think one of my favorite reverbs is this tau reverb i've been using this since i started at lander this is a free one by the way that's so huge. Uh, let's do a high cut. No, low cut. See, I don't want all that high end bouncing around. And then what's this? Yeah, okay, so that's gonna come up here. I'm using my ears, I don't even know what. It's like, how is that how much low cut there is? Or is that? I'm just going to jump in super quickly. Yeah, yeah. Shaolin Prince says, I happen to f happen to be fine with the chatting if it makes it more personable. But the poll does say 67% of people say talk more. Wow, really? So th this is a good level of talk. All right, guys, I'm going to close <laughs> Ableton. and uh, <laughs> uh, Good, that's good. Good to hear. We should do more polls. Like, you know what we'll do is, uh, when while I'm doing this, I'll... Um, We'll do like a poll, like, okay, what sound should I use? Yeah, I'm just going to thr throw polls out. Yeah, throw polls out. Um, ideas kay. for polls, people. Yeah. Ideas for polls. Make Hit a poll up. and put four ideas in there for polls. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So I got this. Let's put the click on for a sec because, like, I want to feel the groove a bit. Dun. Dun. I chose this tempo already. It's kind of close to the reference track that I received. Uh, it's really driving. So, like, 160 is good. I kind of maybe I'll one, two, three, I think that's cool. So I'll do that like every man. I can't with Ableton sometimes. For those that uh, to be more specific on what I'm complaining about is when I option drag, I tend to not hit option early enough, or there's like a delay, and I've noticed this with other people. It's just not just me. But I know with Reaper, it doesn't matter where when you press that button, it just detects it all the time. So anyway, this is like a 10th world problem right here. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to copy that again. And let's just think of our intro because we only have 30 seconds to work with. That's about 10 seconds. That's pretty good. So what's this? Okay, a bit too much. Um, let's look for like an atmospheric sound. So uh, what key is that in? Um, I want it in like D minor. I love D minor. It's the saddest key in music. Uh, I, I said that in my last video, the, the Juice <laughs> World video. But if you Google what is the saddest key in music, there's a snippet that says D minor. It just, you don't get linked anywhere. It just tells you <laughs> that is D minor. Um, are you doing a poll? I'm <laughs> I was like, are we happy? Someone was like, make a poll about the amount of polls. 
Okay. So Someone said that we should do that. Yeah, okay. so I'm doing a poll if they're happy with the amount of polls we're doing. You, 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 well, you haven't done as many polls. All right. It's Speaking of polls, actually, we'll have, we'll have something for you later that you can fill out that's going to help us make this show even better. But uh, And uh, have a, a code for you to get uh, 30% off Lander Studio later in the show if you haven't used it already from the last one. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff I'm using... Aside from some free stuff, it's going to be from Lander. So, like, you have everything you need to do something like this. Like, this is a professional sync placement. I hope. Yeah. I'm so already 15 minutes in, and I only have four bars. So, I'm kind of like, okay, go ahead. It's, uh, from Toaster says, what genre are you going for with this stream? Uh, I think you said at kind of the beginning it's more kind of Hans Zimmer inspired. Yeah. So, I got a brief from my publisher looking for this Hans Zimmer inspired track for something that i can't say what it is at this point but uh yeah i figured this is a great place to do that since it's due in an hour um so <laughs> i might not even make it and that's okay like you don't you know you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't <laughs> i don't think that applies to this if i don't make it i'm gonna miss it completely so. um okay i think it was the i think it was the last stream we did where someone I forget who he was. I think the work here said, and referred to as Anthony Zimmer. Anthony Zimmer. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, he's, big, he's a big influence of mine. I'm really like, so I, <laughs> I put atmospheric dark to see what else would come up. Uh, this is so like, okay, that's, that's not what I, okay. Gonna put, okay, atmospheric pad. Uh, maybe if I put the key as like minor, that'll help. So there's like a filters thing here. You can change the key, the BPM. If I put it to like minor, maybe that'll filter out some of the stuff. Anxiety pad. <laughs> like I feel like that's just gonna work. That's what I call my apartment. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's too busy. Okay. Okay. No. be able to do something with that let's see what it sounds like uh in the mix here so press play okay i'm just gonna do this because uh i'm running out of time but i have an idea for it i don't want it to go to the second note If anyone knows how to crossfade in Ableton, let me know as I forget. Like that? No. Um, maybe if I reverse it. That's a clever way to do this. Nice. That mm -hmm. works. That's clean. It's clean. And I need it like uh, up an octave. Maybe not. Let's see it change the uh the thing with Ableton's like it's it's warp modes you can't get that in any other DAW unless I I don't know. Okay, it's a bit too piercing. So, let's fix that. Uh what's, what are people T saying? Now? Uh Tim says the little squares in the top corner of the sample drag them when you were talking about how do you um enable Oh them. yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. Thanks Sam. Thanks. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. I'm clapping. You can't oh, it's see. Tim. Sam? Tim. Not the Tim. A, a, a Tim. A Tim. Okay. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Okay. I need some of the high end out of there. A bit too loud. Ugh, something's weird there. Oh, that was still on uh, beats. Okay. I don't know if I like this, but I'm going to go with it. I can always get rid of it later. This is like, I have to tell myself that I'm just talking to myself, I'm not talking to you mm -hmm. or anyone that's watching. If that was directly to myself. The people are entertained oh, by yeah? this. Uh, 
I don't know if I'm going to, 20 after, this is the close call. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I said I was going to start with percussion. Let's just, uh, let's uh, finish the percussion here because I feel like I'm kind of getting into the weeds with this intro thing. Oh, it's so hot in here. <laughs> it's really warm in this room. I'm looking forward to winter, I got to say. Um, That's a hot, cold, no, it's a cold take. It's a what? I was going to say it's a hot take. But it's not because it's winter, so it's very cold. So is it a cold take? I don't know. We live in Montreal. I guess it's like minus 30 in the winter. Okay. Where am I at? Okay, let's just... There's 30 seconds right there. I'm pointing to the screen, by the way. That's my cutoff point. It's going to... It should like build. This is going to be the climax. Then it's going to kind of fade out here. Um, cool. Lolo Road says put some crystalline on that. Crystalline. I don't know. Where do I find that? Ask. Is the crystalline in the Ableton effects? If is that like could. a type of reverb? I've heard of it. I think I saw it in Guitar Rig once. Um, I don't want to think too much about ba it. Baby Sorry. audio. Pardon? Baby, uh, the baby audio reverb. I uh, don't a baby have audio it. VST. I gotta, I gotta ask for that, or buy it. Probably buy it. Should buy it. Okay, that's cool. Maybe switch it up with another loop here. Um, favorites. Favorites. This plugin, by the way, like I was gonna use this pack today. This is a such a cool pack. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time. But like it, it, the samples in it are made for sampling. They're not like a, an idea. It's just like really nice chords. Um, ooh, that's kind of cool. Not what I'm looking for. Um, cool. Song that I had. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, let's get let's put that on the sidelines there. Okay. Um, okay. Pulsating synth is one of the things that I needed. So <sighs> premium synths. I just I need to maybe pulse synth. Oh, we're at 59 people? Mm-hmm. Wow. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, thanks so much, yeah, guys. Can we do a poll? Oh. Can you put, like, how many times would you watch something like this? Once a month? Twice a month? Four times a month? Or never? So, like, if yep. they click never, I'm guessing they're just exiting out right after clicking that. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't put never, because that doesn't mean anything, right? <laughs> uh Pulse synth. Okay, I don't know if I was finding anything here. Like, <laughs> no. That's a bit too happy. That's not Zimmery. No, that's not. It. Okay. No. Okay. Bass. Bass synth. Bass music. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, no, I don't want bass music. I need bass, bass, bass synth. Okay. Could work. Kind of favorite it. This is hard. Like, I could just open Arteria Analog Labs right now and just get it done, but I'm choosing to torture myself. But I think this is good. Like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. That's nice. That's cool. I don't want the rhythm that they have there though. I want to make my own rhythm. So a big thing that you can do with samples, like, and especially if they're really high quality ones, like some, like, like these ones here, you can just take them and make them your own instrument. Like why pull up a VST when you have a really nice sound there? Like sometimes, these VSTs with their nice cartoony graphics that you just make your own. Um, so then what I would do then is 
set that release so because like I'm using the MIDI I'm using the computer keyboard I'm just gonna set my locator I just want that one hit right because I'm gonna make my own okay so what key am I in Hearing it. Anyone have any ideas? I mean, 50. Oh, I lost four people. It's because I wasn't talking. Okay. <laughs> that was less. <laughs> I was playing the synth thing. Okay. Uh. just record something in here uh i don't know if i like that sound though let's try to make it uh crazy i'll just put some crustacean on there and then uh, okay this is hard what do i have left okay i'm at 326 you know when you like when you look at the clock and you're like three 24 right mm -hmm. like, oh it's not even close <laughs> to 335 and then uh, it's, it's just 335 depends like. if you round up time or round down time i tend to round it down i always i'm a, I'm a, I'm a round down <laughs> yeah. like 320 like 317 i'm like nah it's 315 this is fine yeah mm -hmm. and then eventually it's just like anything three, whatever. if it was like 322 i'd be like oh yeah yeah i'm like no it's only 20 pounds Uh, okay, so I, I grabbed a delay. I think it's like. Let's see what it sounds like with. The... Okay, let's just do that, whatever. Okay. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was a poor performance, but. We're lucky that we live in the century that we do because we have MIDI, so we can just fix it. I think I screwed that up. Uh, see, you know what happens to me a lot is like this MIDI, like I always, <sighs> it cuts early and then I duplicate it and then it's all out of time. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if that happens to you. <laughs> you're just duplicating stuff and then it's off the grid and then you're screwed. There okay. was a lot, there were a lot of messages in chat. Sorry, I was typing a poll. Was, but thank you for all for the feedback. Um, I'm just gonna address some, uh, yeah. yeah, a lot of people saying we should do this more often. Cool. Yep. Um, that's what the poll says? It's like that's just written stuff. Written, yeah, the people say more. Oh, that's yeah. good. Okay. Uh, there is, I just posted the poll. Is uh, there any that say less it's probably the same people that said you should be speaking less <laughs> okay that was a joke i don't know why well, I, mean, I would assume so yeah. like yeah yeah okay cool uh kip pal says maybe find some spooky bells for melody might give you some direction on your bass line and then uh chord adds it might be fun to have some crazy D B beat in there okay that's it yeah those are all good suggestions I kind of I want to stick to this driving percussion thing, but like, where did that synth thing go? Okay. I'm gonna, you know what? Let's try to do some stuff with this because I forgot about this. And I maybe I'll do chords. am I in this you know I have like several years of music theory knowledge and I always mess this up okay 
I need the tuner. I wish I had perfect pitch sometimes, but then like you hear stuff in the wild and then it destroys your brains. Maybe I'm in okay, I'm B minor. That's fine. Okay, B minor. So I, I make beat says take the second and fourth hits on the bass out. You know what? I think you're right. The the dude's name is I make beats. I would trust. Yes. I would trust what. When it comes to beats, I would trust what he says. Beats. You know what? He's right. Oh, I should have seen that from a mile away. You know what? Yeah, because you have to keep it simple. Starting out, and this is hard to do. Like I'm, I'm on a live stream, <laughs> <laughs> trying to compensate for my own. That's cool. If you uh, skill set. If here. anyone's ever seen people like, I don't want to talk when your music's playing. No, I just interrupt it. Go ahead. Okay, no, I was going to say, like, <laughs> if you've ever seen, a, like, Marc Rebillier live. Oh, god! Like, he, like, I saw him play it just for laughs in Montreal recently, and he's fully just, like, experimenting with, like, tens of thousands of people in front of him. And he's like, hey, so what sample do you like best? And that's what he plays. Same energy. I'm literally pressing T and H on my keyboard, and I'm getting this sound, okay? So... Just appreciate that, everyone, that I had to like think in my head that T and H are musical notes. Okay. You know, a bit much on the intro there, but I'm not going to do that. That's not what's happening. Um, I'm just going to pull this up. Did that screw everything up on the screen there? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You know, and that's okay. Like I told myself earlier. I'm not going to ride home on the bus sad that I didn't make it. That's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Like, it says I'm in B and I'm working in this, but whatever. Oh, it's because I didn't tune the sample. That's why. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just tune it so I'm, like, not driving myself insane here. Okay. Okay, what's... Uh, so I had that idea. Those are just thirds. I just put a C here. So the goal is to make sure that note is a C. Good job, tuner. <laughs> Why isn't it working? I, will, I think this was a, a B. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This is what happens when you uh, do this, okay. Just using my ear. There it is, okay. So if I go like this. Now, if anyone has questions about what I just did, see why does Ableton do that? Option, drag. Okay. Then I wanted to like a blah, blah, blah. So a few things from chat. Yes. Jean-Philippe Denis said, could work with a very slow attack. Yes, uh, good point. And then JF uh, says, agree with JP, a slow attack could work well. Uh, and then I make beat says, copy the first section of the bass hits to measures five to eight. Okay, just, let me get this idea out first. These are great ideas, guys. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But yeah, no, I'm definitely going to do all of that stuff that they just said. And then like, you know, if I get the placement, you guys will do a lander split on distribution. Yeah, we'll and, do uh, a lander split. And we won't tell any of the distro team that I was using. Sam. Uh, <laughs> we'll do a distro split and I'll claim royalties on the whole planet. I feel okay. like if and when... I get it. It's just gonna see me laughing at all of your, all of your jokes. People want to see me laugh. Okay, and then big hit there. Boom. Okay, after I do this, boo, boom. Um, can you uh, tell me what they said? Mm -hmm. I have like a, a pack that I use all the time that I really like. So I just I know what I like here, and that's another thing about using samples. You know, build your own library. Uh, <laughs> Cool, whatever. At this point, I have, it was what, 324? So now it should be 330? 335. Oh, see? Yeah. 
It depends. Well, it's three thirty. We're rounding down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's nice. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me what they said? Uh, I make beats said copy the first section of the bass hits to measures five to eight. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Yeah. And then Jean Philippe said could work with a very slow attack. On the synth thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. That's really, really great feedback. Thank you all. No thanks to you, Mr. Tuner. Can't even <laughs> tune the... Give me the pitch. I had to... Do okay. Focus. Yeah. We're getting there. This is good. This yeah, is good. It's good. See, okay. Now I can remove some high end from here. I think the music you're creating is you would hear it in a movie soundtrack in a scene that like is meant to increase tension. Yeah. So I think that because you're on a time deadline and you're right, I think like the music is maybe like rising you. That is a really good yeah. point. I think we should do this more often for everything. That's my one psychology class I took in university coming through. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. One uh, what I'm doing, I have to talk more. Sorry. Um, what I'm doing is just kind of minimizing or minimalizing. Is that a word? Yeah. Minimalizing the intro a bit. Look, I just did it again. Well, minimizing, yeah. Uh, I'm just minimizing the intro, making it a bit more simple. So then when it kicks in here a little bit. supposed to come in there oh, okay i gotta shorten this out gosh this is hard okay um what are, what are people oh we lost 10 people i have to keep talking jeez okay so the people in the pacific ocean i can't even count bars i'm so stressed this is, yeah, this is four bars. It shows me, you know, on the color grid here, like gray, lighter gray, gray, lighter gray. Oh, gosh, okay. Now I need that even more. Okay, I'm going to use this special function in Ableton called uh, play at double tempo. There we go. See it? Workflow. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be switching chords. That'll come in. I don't know if this is going to get placed. They better not do that thing. Okay, good. Uh, Tim is back and he says, Hey, Anthony, deep breath. You're doing awesome. Oh, thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Is that Tim Tim or just Tim? Just That is a Tim, not the Tim. Okay. The confusion is we have a co-worker called Tim. Do you produce while sober? Yes, we are all sober. Yes, yeah, that's a good question. Like, <laughs> cool. I uh, have that opening up over yep, a certain we're, amount of We're time. all at work right now. We are all sober. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna automate this frequency thing. Um, open up a bit here. Let's see. Cool. You know what I'm missing though is like. Ryan's bell idea is not a bad idea, mm -hmm. just like a... Oh, I need like a... I need a, uh, like a swoosh, swoosh impact too, I think. Whooshes? Yeah. Is I it, like those. It's your... Is, so I Make Beat says, your bass starts to hit all the time again instead of every other one. Yeah, I wanted to like build into it. 
Whoa. Bring that down? Yep, definitely. I kind of do. Cool, even that can come down. Okay. Let's just listen, take a breath, breath. Much. Oh man, we only have 20 minutes. Okay, breath, breath. Um, okay, maybe some uh, Anthony Wilcox says get some violin stabs in there. I don't want to do orchestral, okay, uh, just because it called for like more of a electronic vibe, I think is what they were looking for. Okay, but that's a good suggestion, yeah, because when he said it, I was like, oh, this. This needs to move the notes too. I'm gonna keep it there to not confuse things. Okay. Okay. Any more suggestions there? What was this thing again? I muted that. Let's just see. Okay, let's see that that kind of fills stuff out a bit. That like ominous drone thing. I just have to tune it. It's got to be. Uh, You're talking. About and then maybe like not stretch it as much. Talking about suggestions, DJ and Pero. I hope I said that right. Said might want to trim the swoosh. I hope that's a technical term so that it doesn't overlap with the impact. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of low end in the swoosh. Um. <laughs> They're both soloed. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oops, CD. Okay. I look like a total amateur. How do you select both? There we go. Yeah, what I'm going to do is, like, just take out some low end out of that swoosh. And I think it'll be fine, like... Time check, 3.42 no, like, p.m., by the way. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's no transient on the swoosh. It's just like a... <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> is, that, is that the technical term? Yeah, let's just listen to it. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's like an exhale kind yeah. of thing. Um, cool. Hmm. Uh, less high end, um, more, I really got to like, we got to get a bigger desk. I can't do this with the trackpad like this anymore. I'm going to reel I off I can't some be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reel off some things from chat. Yeah. Um, uh, G Day says it's a nice track for a gladiator duel. I do get that vibe. Uh, Jean Philippe says just add tape up on the synth pad to increase tension would be a easy trick that's a good point and then all those things are great uh yeah if it gets used for like barbie 2 i'll be happy barbie too. like anything anything <laughs> will be i didn't see the first one i was supposed to go and then i was sick for my life uh, anthony wilcox says electric game of thrones vibe yeah i, th I think that's a great description except you know maybe not season eight not see <laughs> i mean if they're paying me it doesn't matter barbie what 3d yeah, yeah. <laughs> just barbie gladiator Barbie gladi <laughs> they're gonna milk that for you know they already anything. have mattel yeah. have a whole line of uh, movies i need to decay on that thing It's kind of like, uh, so it needs to fade out a bit more. Mateo says, could duplicate pads slash synth, keeping the main ones on the same key, introducing new ones a bit lower, brackets, or higher, actually? 
to make it a chorus multi-voice pad and to avoid strings. Oh cool, yeah. I yeah, I'm not we're going to figure out a different setup here. But why is that like okay, I need the decay on there. It's kind of sounding weak. Maybe I'll take the reverb off. Okay, I'm starting to feel it. I'm really feeling <laughs> okay. that. Okay, let's just duplicate that a bit and then, uh, oh gosh. 3.46 p.m. Oh Eastern. My. Okay. All right, let's go back to the main cam. Let's just take a breather here. Um, I want to talk uh, with James. Um, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, what do you think this could be used for? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling... Like someone you said, um, like a lot, like Electronic Game of Thrones is basically The Expanse. I'm not familiar with that TV show, but oh, I, you haven't seen The Expanse? No. Oh man, you this, know what show I just watched too is th I told you The Severance. Oh yeah. Oh my, the opening theme for that is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh man. So I'm feeling, yeah, like a like a future sci-fi. TV show movie soundtrack. Yeah. Uh, but like in a scene that involves like high tension or, you know, maybe even like the introduction of the, like the theme tune of the song. Right. Yeah. I mean, fingers crossed. I don't, when I do these things, I, I go in with like a mindset of, well, what was your, be used. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your goal like coming into this? What were you looking to create? I think I'm like, I think I'm, I think I'm there, like, coming into this, coming into this, um, I wasn't even going to do this, and then I got, like, I got to work, and I got this message, and I was like, oh, this works, you know, 30 seconds, ha an hour, this will uh, be okay, so, I'm looking at my sheet here, this is my analysis of the <laughs> reference track, so I'm just looking at it. I have kind of like a rhythmic motif. It's like dun 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 dun, and then I have the huge drums that are building. I have some high synth sounds. The pulsing bass synth I th and percussive sounds. I think I'm missing a bit. I think I have like, like I make beats said. I have like the foundation there, but like it's kind of missing something. So I think for that intro, I'm gonna keep what I have, and then I'm gonna have to kind of maybe choose a different sound because I wasn't really happy with what mm -hmm. I had in terms of the sounds. Um, cool. Let's uh, let's let's get in back into it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna look for bass synth, and uh, and see what comes up. <sighs> synth bass. Shaolin Prince says, uh, perhaps even a game sync start sort of vibe, maybe Assassin's Creed. I agree. Like the. The in between, uh, like the in between scenes of Assassin's Creed when you're like loading in, yeah, I can imagine that. I love those games. I don't know if you ever played them. Not Assassin's Creed. No. I just finished the Breath of the Wild. You know. Oh, have you started Tears of the Kingdom? No. Okay. Don't buy it. I'll lend it to you when I'm done with it. Okay. Yeah. Don't buy it. I already bought it. Oh, you already bought it. <laughs> Try to be a nice guy. <laughs> Ah, okay. Come on. You know what? Let's uh, let's use quick picks. Maybe I can find something here. Mm. Okay, so this is a cool page on Lander Samples where if you're looking for something specific to get started or add, you can look for it in a different way. Um, what would this be considered? Like a techno bass kind of thing? Let's just listen to some of these. Maybe. Ooh, see? Like... Like okay, I was in what did I what was I in D minor or D minor? minor? D minor. Was I in D minor? Yeah, no, I, you're in D minor. Okay. 
Okay. What's that? Okay. that it's kind of like a bit muddy though can i fix it welcome to the show can i fix, fix it can. <laughs> and then you can b b do a poll i'm gonna try to fix it and then we'll let them guess if i fix it or not <laughs> that's so dumb but it's entertaining so that's what we're going for here um okay There's only like one section of this that I want, and it's it's right there. Yeah, those two bars I'm gonna go for. I'm not sure if that rhythm fits on the uh, the thing, but it's kind of clashing with the drums. Even those drums are a bit muddy, I think, with the reverb and stuff. Um, I'll get to that after this. Um, preserve transients. This is, I love this tool where you, you go like this and you do that and it does some magic. And Let's bring that down. 3.52 p.m., by the way. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and then distortion. I just keep chucking this crustacean on everything because it just smashes the crap out of stuff. Can I say that on this uh, No, you cannot. <laughs> okay, did you send the poll? Yeah, I said, will you fix it? Did I fix it? Did, well, did, did you send it already? Because yeah. I was already trying to fix it. And did you? Well, no, they're supposed to decide. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's been fixed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're get, we're getting near the end, so guys, let's take a little intermission here because I'm almost done here. But like, um, yeah, go to back to the main cam. Thanks so much for tuning in. What do we end up? Forty one is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Uh, thank you everyone for sticking around. I think we're gonna try to do this more often because we want to build this kind of outlet. Um, it's really cool, interactive. It's fun for us. And if you're still here, then it must be fun for you, unless you're just gonna complain after. <laughs> But to know what to do next, we've made a nice, complete survey that'll help us really kind of make this the best it can be. Uh, James is going to put the link in the chat. Um, yep. Uh, you can copy it. You got it? Yep. Nice. Yeah. If you if you have some time, take that. It only takes a couple minutes. Yeah, it's uh, just like a feedback. We're just looking for, Yeah. I don't know, what do you guys want to see from this? How often do you want to? Right. And uh, yeah, I want to do more of them. I think we could do more of them. If mm -hmm. this is, a, yeah, it takes into consideration like what would be a better time for you. Mm -hmm. um, what viewing device do you use? Yeah. Do you want a different host? <laughs> Should James take <laughs> host <laughs> position? <laughs> Should James? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> okay. So, did you, okay, lots do of Do you want to see more dogs on stream? Yeah, you that know? Could, like, let's we can make up. that happen. We yeah. can make that. We actually can make that happen yeah. if you want more dogs on stream. Okay, did you send the fix it poll? Yeah, the type form. Yeah, Yeah. okay. I know, like, the did I fix the synth? Oh, yeah. Yes. I 70. feel like they voted too early. Mm, maybe. I'm going to vote no. <laughs> No, I think it's fine. What I did was I used this cool tool on the... Oh, should I move back? Hmm? Should I move back? Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Um, I used this this tool under the audio module here, the tool panels. I'm using the, the chat help to tell me what it is. Transient loop mode. I just know that it makes it, it makes the transient stick out a bit more, so that's clearing out some of the mud. 
And then I put the crustacean on, which is available in Lander Studio, which we have a coupon for 30% off any Lander Studio plans, I think, which is Lander. Lander Live 30. Yeah. L A N D R L I V E 30. And you'll get 30% off any Lander Studio plan. Is it any? No, it's yearly. Any yearly Lander Studio plan. Okay. That's so silly. <laughs> I forgot I grabbed that. Okay. Getting rid of this. This is coming in. Because this is the build up, right? <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. I just need to make this a bit more kind of like different than. Dun, dun, tigga, dun, dun, tigga. Dun dun take a dun dun kind of thing. So maybe if I chop this here, go like this. I'm pretty sure you just did the the theme tune to Game of Thrones. Dun. No, I, can't, I don't want to get copyright striked. Actually, I'm not going to hum it. The, the, <laughs> I, was, I was about to hum. Yeah, James James's vocals was on the main <laughs> audio file of Game of Thrones <laughs> intro, intro, so he no. can't hum it, or else we get copyright <laughs> strike. <laughs> nice. So I just copied the two things of that and put them back to back, so I get that. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. And then there's too much decay on there. And what's happening here? Yeah, that's got to go. So as that's being introduced, and there's a bit of reverb on there, I'm going to take down the reverb in the mix. So going to wet, bringing it down, because it's going to get pretty muddy when it's going really fast. Okay. Nice. 357. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was chat uh, Narina in chat says I thought it was Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> How does that go? That's nothing like that, is it? A uh, kind of. It is. I don't want to hum. I don't want to get copyright struck. I don't think I don't we can get hot. It's like a shazam. Let's play it and then we'll sing <laughs> <our> over <laughs> it. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. This is for Pirates of the Caribbean. If anyone 17. tuned in, if anyone tuned in in that moment, I was just going, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. What are these guys Chaos. doing? Why would you do that to us? Okay. Nice. This needs more juice. Someone said crystalline. Let's uh, look for something crazy. Um, do I have anything crazy? Oh, this thing's pretty crazy. This is huge, this Ooh. thing. Large meg, I can't even say the word cloud. Mix up. Massive black, little black hole kind of thing here. No, dark matter. Okay. Cool. Again, and then to finish it off, we'll do this again. Uh, what am I at? 
Oh, four o'clock Eastern. Oh, geez, really? Yep. Okay. You know what? It's due at four thirty. How do you feel about going? Keep going. Oh, sorry, you were talking. About yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Yeah, guys and gals, People. feel free to stay tuned if you want to keep and finish this with me. I'm going to export it, see if I can master it quick, do a quick mix in half an hour, um, or leave. This is usually when we would end the stream. Yeah, Maybe we normally I'll just go for a, an hour. A question in the survey, how long, I think there was, mm -hmm. how long you would want to watch a stream for. Um, that helps us design these to best fit your needs. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep going with it because I do want to get this done. I actually do want to finish it and submit it. And uh, it's not a joke. <laughs> 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 so, if you guys have more um, suggestions on what sounds I'm missing. What I like to do sometimes is, like, I did this in the last one where I was doing the mixing thing. I'll grab Span, which is a free plugin. Um, Eight hours, Anthony Wilcox says. <laughs> what? Eight. You said about how long, and then someone in the chat said eight hours. Okay. Crazy. Well, technically, we could do it. We could. Yeah. We could do a whole day stream. We could. We have to get that approved. I would. Yeah, I was going to say I need. Okay. So what I did was I chucked on span. I have this preset called. I think I misspelt. Steady, and it, I said steady. Steady. But it's slow and steady, and what that does what is say, it's uh, steady. I put the octave. <laughs> Were you gonna say something? No, no, no. Okay. I'm not funny. I stopped myself. A uh, third of an octave, so it's kind of spreading the notes out instead of it being really specific. And then I slowed down the time, and made the slope a bit bigger. Um, so I can see like the energy buildup in the track. I'm sure the low end is just ridiculous right now. Look at it. Yeah, it's missing, like, if I was going to really be, you know, sp like, specific about completing the arrangement, I can do this in mixing, too, or I can do it in the arrangement and have some higher sounds, I think. Like, it's okay to have, like, a lot of low end in the intro. I might, you have to, I have to tame it so it's not too boomy. But then when it gets here, this is, like, the climax. It should have some information up here. And like that'll come in with adding more sounds and not over, I think overbearingly filling this this area here, which can kind of get harsh. So what's in here? Oops. Okay, let's go into some sounds now and uh, maybe like some sound effects. Some little fills here and there might make it a little bit more interesting. I'm really glad you said that because DJ Ampero said a rain stick after the impact might fill out some space. A rain stick? A rain stick sound. Interesting. Oh, great suggestion. Yeah. Or, uh, uh, or no uh, rain, or the exact opposite <laughs> of a rain stick sound. <laughs> Sorry, DJ Ampero. <laughs> No, we're going to look for it. Okay. Uh, no, he's right. Like a, a high percussion sound is going to work re really great. Um, I don't need a riser. Did, I just want to surf this section a little bit. Oh, that's dirty. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go back to search. Rain stick. <laughs> okay, so I knew what I meant. It's a rain stick. I think that last one, maybe if you start high and then fade it, maybe stretch it and fade it out. You can also say no. No, I'm like, this is, uh, it's all trial and error, really. Right? Uh, I want.
want something kind of like rhythmic, like that's mm-hmm. driving. I think the rain stick's getting a bit too ambient, but I did want like a an atmosphere here, like an atmosphere. Yeah, a lot a lot of suggestions earlier did say like um, about an attack. Where's like the city from escape thing? Cityscape is that? Oh, a- a- apocalyptic drone desert. So that's perfect for this. Yes. It's very doom. Uh-oh. this to be warped. like the end of that 27 see we lost people i think an hour is good yeah Four um, seven. it's fine though it's fine yeah no this is still it's a good um it's trial and error like you said you know well i mean like uh, the stream though oh yeah yeah oh i mean also yeah trial and error like is an hour too long is it just enough i thought shift was how to stretch this am i losing my mind Okay, someone that does Ableton, tell me how to stretch stuff out. Cause like, how do I you stretch I just in Ableton? Did this. If anyone knows. Okay, I don't. Okay. Getting in the weeds here. Okay, I need a driving percussion sample, and then I think I'm gonna just do the ending, and I'm gonna mix it, and then send it off. Did you wrap it first? Oh, I have a war. Oh, it needs to oh, be so warped you, to stretch yeah. it. Oh, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Thanks, Sung Prod. Learning every day. Ugh. So much to learn, so little time. I feel like it needs to be like a semi, like a whole tone higher. Oh. cool let's do it to eight bars whoopsies so cool that's nice and ambient Nice. Love it. Okay. Last, live, laugh, laugh. last thing was just like the percussion thing, like a TikTok kind of sound. Maybe it would work really well for the intro. Uh, clock. Do you think we have a clock? Clocks. Just need like a tick, tick, tick. Maybe try. What did you put? Clock or tick into the set? Try. Tick like TikTok, but T I C K O. D- can't spell. It's like a winding TikTok. This is like yeah. a grandfather clock sound. Yeah, it's okay. Try like TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Dude. Like. Great, great uh, feedback there. Okay. It's my favorite Kesha song, also TikTok. Is this better? Nope. I think this one has the most tension. I'm going to go with it. (laughs) And then I don't want it happening every, like... 
It's going to be much, much quieter, I think. And let's see. I think it can come in like more into the next section when it's starting to build a bit. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. The build section. You know what? It's gonna, okay. I've made an executive decision. Yeah, I think an hour is our sweet spot because now I'm like, I find I'm less entertaining mm -hmm. and I'm just kind of going with the motions and I forget people are there and we're losing. In, I mean, in the. It's the like I'm on the floor, like bleeding out. We're losing people, man. <laughs> in in the type form I sent earlier, I'll send it again. But yeah, like if people want more than an hour, less than an hour, an hour, like let us know. Cool. I'm just gonna end it here. I think. And then just on like a little tonic note right here. Uh, what's my grid? I just want like a, a D or whatever I said this was. Okay, I think that's going to be good. What time is it? 4.12? 4.12. Okay, let's do a quick mix, and uh, I'll check it through Lander, and then I'll send it off. But, uh, yeah. Full cam? Yeah, let me branch for a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I said, um, being creative is like a muscle. And I learned that. Have you ever read the book The War of Art? Not to be confused with the book The Art of War. I've read The Art of War. But okay. <laughs> that's why you're diabolical. Yes, truly. Yeah. Um, but The War of Art by, St I think it's Stephen Pressfield, is a really good book on showing up every day, taking it seriously, and getting in the habit of doing it. Cause like, and it's specifically to deal with art and as a, you know, a broad sense. Like, if you do anything artistic, like a sculptor or a painter, or, uh, anything where it's a discipline and you have to show up every day and you have to do it because um, that's what you do and that's who you are. That's uh, it really. I have to listen to it again. It's, a, it's on an audiobook. Grab a trial of Audible. Grab that and then cancel it. It's not not sponsored by Audible. No, because <laughs> like cancel it. Because I think you get a free book with the trial if you haven't yeah. activated it yet. It's really great. Like if you want to get in that mindset of developing a habit, staying creative, uh, it's awesome. I should listen to it again because um, I've been slacking. Um, it, it has been busy on my end, though, with family and, and, and stuff like that. It's so. a busy time of year, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I just I did set up a new desk for myself, and, like, I have a new workspace, so that's kind of inspiring for me. All my gears hooked up. Would you describe yourself as a perfectionist when it comes to music production? Like, do you think, like, sometimes you over, like, tinker with your work? or? Um, I used to. Not mm -hmm. too much anymore. Like, as you can see, like, I'm not completely happy with this, but... Um, I can just, uh, you know, I'm going to send it off anyway. It's done. Like, finishing things is really important. Just finish the thing, you know? I already EQ'd that. Okay. Yeah, I, I speak. What's that? I didn't want to talk over you. Pardon? I didn't want to talk over you. Sorry? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I got um, you. I, 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 I talked to you. Yeah, rip, rip me apart. That was bad. I talked to a lot of musicians, like, the work with us in distribution and something i always say is like don't be your biggest critic like let your audience decide like if the if your music is good if they like it they'll listen to it like if it's good you'll you'll generate organic streams and a fan base uh, thanks for uh, yep <laughs> yeah so yeah i think you like you said like it's good to create generate a habit and do these things well, i think you did a great job i think it sounds really good oh thanks man some people are saying actually it'd be nice to hear it with the metronome turned off oh that's why we lost so many people 
Oh my god, that's such a good sound yeah, prod, it, guys. Thank I, you. I really, <laughs> I'm really bad piece. for that. You know what I do is like, I, there's two things that are like a metronome: metronomes and windshield wipers. Oh really? And I always leave them on. I'm like driving. It's like really sunny out, and it's even like squeaking against the You're window. You're just smushing like bugs. And I'm so into focused it. on driving and not hitting people that I don't even know it's on. Uh, sorry about that. That's my bad. I really have a bad habit. I wasn't of sure that. if you, I wasn't sure if you left that on on purpose. No, I was just like for one point I was like, let's hear it with the metronome on. That's, you know what? That's a great. That's a great piece of feedback. Thanks. Yeah. Don't Thanks, be afraid. Just tell me like. You should, you should close Ableton and quit forever. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that to heart. Yeah, you should consider a new. If you think we should consider a new career? Yeah, yeah. The metronome was very distracting. Is yeah, what, yeah, uh, yeah. People are saying very bad. Yeah, very bad. See, so, yeah, okay, this is coming out. I think because we have another bass there. So. Oh, sorry. Door. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. You could. You, we need to get you a camera if you're gonna talk like over me mixing, which is fine. Like unless people are really like, I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I'm doing. So I um I boosted some 1K to make it come out in front a little bit, but it is kind of opening up in the auto filter too. Um, so it's getting kind of closer, closer. That's that bass sound during the intro that I make beats generously gave amazing advice to kind of simplify it at the start there. Okay, let's listen to this. This uh, this drum loop already sounds really good. Like I don't think I have to do anything to it. I'm just gonna cut the subs out because I have some other bass stuff happening, and I think most of the punch here is like around 100. That's what I kind of want. To so here's without. Here's with. Can't really hear a difference, which is good because like we don't need that low in, in information. Let's give it some smack. What I was doing is I'm sweeping for the quality that I want to boost, and then I just kind of do a little boost. Don't overthink it. Whenever I do that, I'm just kind of sweeping. What sound do I want to take out? What sound do I want to put in? And I hear the frequency that I'm going for, and then I just do it. This had an auto filter on it, I think. Um, I think I wanted to leave that on. And then I'm gonna duplicate that again. Cool. Uh, let's go. 418 PM. 418? Mm -hmm. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Cool. This has a lot of low end too, especially with that reverb on it. What did this have on it? I already kind of cut that. I don't really need a lot of low end on there either. That's more of a kind of It's already sounding cleaner. Um, I had that opening up. I think some weird sound here. That's just kind of. It's probably from that distortion plugin. I don't want to go back in there because I'm running out of time. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. Uh, what's this? Cool. Yeah, this one needs me EQ. Like, we don't need that. That's where the juice is right here. It's kind of like in the low mids, which is kind of cool.
I just cut the lows out here. I have my EQ, by the way. You can set presets in Ableton, and like, um, I have mine so it just automatically does a low cut because I'm pretty much put that on everything. I'm sure everyone else. Does. Okay, tick tick. I gotta boost that maybe. I like the panning on that that they put in. I'm gonna keep that going. It'll keep the high end a little bit busier. Cool. All right, let's listen back to it one more time and then I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna, I, I wanted to throw it through Lander, but I'm kind of, no, I'm gonna do that. We'll listen to it one more time. I'm going to throw it through Lander, and I'm going to send it off, I think. You'll notice I didn't use too much compression or anything. Let's take a listen to it and just balance it. Trying to like listen to the okay. Just want to hear what's taking up all that loads. What's that drop? the drums can come down a bit mm -hmm. and then it's going to help really clear up some stuff uh. missing some low end here that I didn't think I was missing so I'm going to open this up a bit and see if that covers it okay I can't go over this forever so we're going to put it into lander I just need to like I think I might need to bring everything down a little bit just for some headroom so I'm going to put a utility on every track and just take down like I don't know, 6 dB. I could do this on my master too, but I just, I don't know. This is what I've been doing. If you have a better way of doing this, let me know. Because um, uh, sometimes I don't do things, the I don't know if anyone does this the right way. Is there a right way? No, it's just like whatever sounds good to you, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. How many people are we at now? I guess 23. Nice. The metronome thing helped, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. And then this. Cool. So just taking some gain down. Should help us on the master. Not That's the thing about Ableton I find is that I click the master so easy compared to other. I think it's just my habits and other DAWs are different. And then Ableton I kind of forget to. Cool. I'm good with this. Let's uh, let's master it. Maybe do a revision. Then we'll send it out. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I minimized that. Um, yeah, I want it to go back here. Then it's gonna fade out. 
Well, that's good. Cool. Um, make sure I'm logged into Lander. Cool. Oh, nice. There's a live stream on Lander. <laughs> <laughs> Did we check that? Okay. Uh, so when I just bounce it to the bounce folder, uh, it'll auto upload to Lander and then create a master. I think I have it like a, a balanced medium preset there. Where's my Lander bounce folder? Users. I thought I marked it as a favorite. Okay. Dune track. Cool. Nice. Um, let's see if it's uploading. Uh, let's go back to main cam because I feel like I'm ignoring people now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard to keep energy up after an hour. Uh, if you have any tips that's not coffee, let me know. Uh, legal, legal, tips. legal tips. <laughs> Is this gonna? Did it upload? Ma Matrix three 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 oh, says. No, I'm not. Oh no, I'm not logged into the. Go back to the main cam for a sec. I'm still in main cam. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. I'm not logged into the right account okay. here. You do you. Uh, Matrix333 says, I normally put utility on the master and drop it minus six. Yeah, yeah. that works too. Mm -hmm. I think I get paranoid about the master channel for some reason. Mm -hmm. it makes sense. You work at Lander, mm -hmm. get paranoid about the master <laughs> channel. <laughs> All right, go, you can go ahead back to the DOS screen. I'm logged into the wrong account, but it's still uploaded, so that's fine. Uh, cool. The, my master's complete. Um, show. That sounds pretty huge. I'm sure about this. Nice. Very I think it nice. works. Yeah. For an hour, that's not bad. Like, it mm -hmm. was good to challenge myself because sometimes I'll take like three months exactly. on a track. <laughs> yeah. I think sometimes, you know, too much time is a <laughs> Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Go no, ahead. of course. No worries. Too much time sometimes is a bad thing in music production. Like, yeah, if perfectionism. You, yeah. Like, if you set a hard deadline of, I will have this done by yeah, this time. Like, I've, it helps. I've done a whole track over a weekend once. I did work hard, but uh, having a deadline does help. I don't know who you can get to hold you accountable. Oh, That'd be a good Oh, my like, God. Wait. We should do what they did on um, that, that the Nathan Fielder show. Where he, like, um, had a... No he had... A, he went to a notary in one of his episodes. Yeah. And... Like, he had to show the progression of the work. Nathan for you. Yeah, Nathan for oh, you. Oh, and then they had a naked photo. Yeah, and he yeah, had, yeah. like, a notary was, like, if the notary didn't think he was showing good progression on his work, he would send, like, compromising pictures of uh, himself, himself to his parents. Yeah. And he had to just show, like, what he's doing to the notary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that, like... The only thing that really motivates people is money, which is sad to say. Mm. Or it's like, like this is motivating for me because it's like, oh, it could be featured in something. Oh, mm -hmm. I could get paid. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, and then like you do it. Um, yeah, a service where money's involved, where you don't lose. <laughs> that could be a new product for <laughs> the studio. No, <laughs> it's just not a joke. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing a bit of low end in going into the, this part. And then like here, I, I lowered that effect thing that's kind of distracting. That's kind of that's, the TikTok can come down. Yeah, I think that's it. But there's still a bit of low end missing. 
when it comes in here. So what I'm gonna do is overcompensate. I'm gonna compensate for that in the intro. And just look at the this thing. Maybe take a bit more here. What else is uh it's that bass sound? This might still work if I go like this. No, it's too busy. I think I'm gonna turn this down a tad too. So then when it comes in, it's not gonna be too overbearing. Cool, all right, save, export again. I love using Lander to reference my mixes like that. It's really great because it really brings out all of the... Are you logged in on the correct account or do you need me to move screens? I uh, know it's just, it'll auto upload. I can just leave it? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, I think it's 431, so I got to send this off. I don't have a choice now. I'm going to let it master, but uh, you can go back to the main cam. I think that's it. I did do it technically on the live stream. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm a minute late. I'm two minutes late now, so hopefully I didn't miss the deadline. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. This is a lot of fun. Grab that survey. Use the coupon code if you uh, want to check out Lander Studio for a discounted price. We'll put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. um, the survey link is there. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I have a bunch of lists here. Let's see. No. No, I think that was it. Um, Speak into the mic. What's that? We didn't pick up what you said. Oh, I'm not saying anything oh, okay, really great. important. So, yeah, grab that survey link and uh, stay tuned for the next one. We'll schedule on YouTube. So subscribe if, on the YouTube if you haven't. Uh, you'll get notified that we're going live. And, uh, yeah, we want to figure out ways how we can interact with you some more, um, have some fun with this, do some uh, different stuff. I think we're going to start featuring some people on here, which is kind of cool. So stay tuned for that. But, yeah, thank you for tuning in. It means so much mm -hmm. to us uh, to build this with you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the, on the next one. Thank you for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. See you.